excited about. Usually I don't get this excited about Seiko, however, this has one of the best dials on a Seiko that I have seen ever. And that's saying a lot because Seiko makes some spectacular dials and this is one of the best that I have ever seen. It's a Yoroshi lacquer dial in green. You have gold accents, you have white accents. It's really balanced. They did a fantastic job. So let's flip the camera and take a look at a green lacquer dial from Seiko. So it's been a little while since I featured a Seiko on my channel. However, today I have a very special Seiko to show you guys. This is the SPB 295 with a deep dark green Yoroshi dial. That means that this is a lacquered dial. It's done by hand and there are a lot of little details on this dial that they do very well. This is a Seiko done well. Obviously it doesn't have a rotating bezel, or a chapter ring, so there are no misalignments with this, and they do a great job with dials, no matter what watch you're looking at from Seiko, and this has gotta be one of the best from Seiko going into Grand Seiko as well. Now, this watch was lent in to the channel by exquisitetimepieces.com. If you are interested in this watch or any Seiko, definitely check out their website. They have a ton of amazing watches and they are obviously authorized dealers for Seiko and other brands as well. I think like 60 or 90 brands, something crazy. So check out their website. They also have a brick and mortar store down in Florida, uh, Naples, Florida. If you're in the neighborhood, tell them Watch Chris sent you. Anyway, like I was saying, this is a hand lacquered dial. There's tons of little details. We're gonna start with the indices. Those are painted white and applied. There is no loom on this dial because technically this is a dress watch. Then you have three registers. At the nine o'clock position or about the nine o'clock position, you have a power reserve. At the six o'clock position, you have the date that is retrograde. Then at the three o'clock position, you have the day that is also retrograde. Obviously, this is an automatic movement powered by the 6R24. This is sort of their higher end movement in that 6R range. You have gold hands. All of the hands are gold. However, some of them have a white lacquer applied, the hour and minute, and then all of the sub registers have white lacquer applied. The second hand is in gold and has a counterbalance that sort of echoes the other registers on the dial. So the registers on the dial look like little crescents. That's what they put as the counterbalance on the second hand. It looks fantastic. Below the 12 o'clock index, it just says Seiko, Presage, Automatic. That's it. Now there's a lot going on on this dial. They probably did not need to put that information there, uh, but they did anyway. This is a limited edition of 2000 pieces. And uh, I have to say the price on here is a pretty good price considering the dial. Now the dial is handmade and it is really hard to make a perfect dial like this. And I will do plenty of close-ups so you can see what I'm talking about, but the dial on here is beautiful. There are other brands that make hand lacquered dials and usually they are very, very expensive. This is a $1,900 watch which seems like a lot of money, especially considering it's from Seiko, but what you're getting is a lot for that money. Now the movement isn't crazy. It's not like a 6L movement or a Grand Seiko movement in any way, but this rivals Grand Seiko's dials any day of the week. This is a very nice dial. Now it's a standard case from Seiko and the crown's a little bit special, it's sort of concave, really nice crown, big. The case is a little bit sort of standard from Seiko. It's around 40 millimeters, 40.4. I think they say it's a 40.5 millimeter case, uh, 13 millimeters thick, nice large crown, 6.9 millimeters, um, really grippy and easy to use. You could hand wind this movement as well. And of course it does hack. 47.5 millimeters uh, lug to lug. The strap on here is beautiful. They put a great strap on here. Obviously this is a $1,900 watch and it deserves a really nice strap. So what they did is a sort of cav leather strap with brown stitching and then off white stitching here close to the case. So it gives it a little bit of a vintage look and then you get the standard deployant buckle that usually you get from higher end Seiko. So it's really not a bad deployant buckle. It's a little bit light, but that's really not a bad thing. It's actually very comfortable 
and it looks really nice and the Seiko is engraved. So it's a lot nicer than just getting a Tang buckle. And of course you can see the movement from the back. It is the 6R24, nothing much to look at. The rotor is decorated. However, it looks like your standard 6R movement or even a 4R movement, nothing too crazy. Uh, but again, you get to see it from the back. I believe the back is not a Sapphire crystal. I believe it is a Hardlex crystal. So always keep that in mind when you put your watch down, you can scratch that back crystal. You do get a screwed in case back and a push pull crown. As I mentioned, there you go, it does hack. What's awesome about this watch is put it into the second position and you can cycle through the date and it is retrograde, so it will fly back. And the same thing in the other direction, you can cycle through the date, excuse me, the other direction, there you go. Uh, you could cycle through the day and that does fly back as well. So it's very easy to actually set this watch up, put the crown all the way in, and then you could wind the watch and you could see the power reserve going up as I do that. Really very, very nice functionality on here. Beautiful dial. And really the reason why you would buy this watch is because of the dial not because of the case or the movement. Uh, although they're not bad, the dial is really where it's at. It's a little bit of artwork for the wrist, in my opinion. So very quickly, let me show you the watch that I have on my wrist. There is no loom on this watch because it is a dress watch. So we will wrap up the video after I show it to you on my seven and a half inch wrist. Today, I have on my Seiko. This is my SBDC061, a watch that I have been contemplating selling. I've actually put it up for auction, taken it down. I cannot decide whether or not I want to sell it. I recently bought a Citizen that sort of replaces this in my collection and I just haven't had the heart to actually sell this watch because I do love it so much. It is a great watch, but you know, it's hard to sell something that you love uh, even though you have replaced it already. <laughs> uh, and there it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see this wears really nicely. Uh, I love the strap. I love the setup of this watch, uh, the dial, everything about this watch screams quality, um, which, you know, Seiko sometimes do struggle with, and I don't think they struggle with it on this watch. This is fantastic. Anyway, that's really it. Uh, beautiful dial, great case, nice movement, uh, but like I said, the reason why you would buy this is because of the dial, the setup of the dial, even the hands, they're a little bit special. I think it's really a very nice watch. If you like this watch, as I mentioned before, exquisite timepieces do have this in stock. Um, so definitely check out their website. Really a great website. They have tons of watches there. And of course, like I said, tell them that watch Chris sent you. Anyway, guys, thank you for logging on. Uh, I hope you guys have a happy and safe new year. Uh, this should be airing on new year. So uh, hopefully you guys are happy and safe and having a great time and I will catch you guys in the next video.